Hey everyone. Welcome back. In this video I will cover all the different method to create a puddle. From paintable 2 to cal and from static to animated. So let's start it. Let's start with the easy one. You don't need to have any basic knowledge for this method. Megascans plugin do all the hard work for you. Select any of the two material from your Megascans folder and go to the Quixel plugin. Click on the adjustment icon and just hit the create material blend. We can locate the material in blend material folder. Select it and apply it on the surface. Now active the mesh paint and select the paintbrush. Before painting the puddle make sure to enable the puddle layer in the material instance. Now isolate the blue channel and start painting the puddle. So you have seen how easy it is to get the puddle on the surface of the Omega Scans material. Now let's create our custom one. For this you must have some basic knowledge of material editor and the nodes it uses. Bring the textures. Don't worry about this texture it's a packed texture with roughness and our channel. So we can mask the green channel to get the roughness map. I am darkening the albedo to make it distinct from surface by multiplying with lower value. I am also multiplying it again with 3 constant vector. Now our customizable puddle color is ready. Time to lerp it with the surface color. I'll do the same with the roughness, but with one constant vector set to zero for completely reflected surface. Now for normal map I didn't have the plain normal texture, so what I do I'll copy that 3 vector and set the blue color to 1 and keep the rest at 0. Let's plug them now. If you do notice our roughness for surface layer is still too shiny than what it appear in the material makers like SP or Quixel Mixer. So to fix it just multiply it with 1.5 or 2 value this should fix it. See it's looking much better. Now time to add the node which will help us to paint on the surface. Search vertex color. Choose any one of the channel and plug it in alpha. That's it. Let's test it now. Working perfectly. I think color for the puddle is too dark, so let's change it. For easy workflow I am converting this to a parameter, so that I can change it from its instance. Looking much better. Let's implement the water animation. I downloaded this water wave texture from Google. Let's bring it in. We need two of these to animate it in the opposite direction. Add the panner node. Texture coordinate to control the size of waves. Search for time node and plug that in it. To see the effect let's blend it with lerp node. Thank you. 
right click and promote the speed to parameter to change the speed. Make sure one of the speed should be a minus value. Working great. Just blend it again with the original one and that's it. We can see it's working fine now. Let's change the tiling and speed. I think we should also implement the intensity function to control the waves. Let's go back and add the component mask twice. And mask red and green channel separately and blue channel separately. Add the multiply node for red green channel to control the intensity and then append it with the blue channel. That's it, we can change the intensity of the waves now. Working perfectly. Let's try to implement the water animation in a different texture with already have puddles embedded in it. Let's grab this function and bring it there and lerp it just like before. Right now it's not too visible, but if I increase the intensity we can clearly see that it's adding the wave all over the texture instead in the puddle area. I created this mask using roughness map, and increased the contrast to get the precise mask. So let's bring it and invert it. Now it's only appearing in the puddle area. Let's adjust the other setting. Looking good. Till now we have covered all the important puddle possibilities, so let's create our last puddle which is the Cal Puddle. To make its roughness with different shape I am using the same roughness texture I used in the last example. All I need to do is mask some of the area and make sure it has some feathered edges to avoid harsh lines when we merge it with different decal. Just save it as PNG and bring it in Unreal. Create a new material and change the blend mode to translucent and material domain to deferred decal. Now go to decal blend mode and change it roughness only. And just plug it in its places. Let's test it now. We need a holder for that decal material, so just go to all classes and search for decal and bring it on the surface you want.
simply add the decal material here, as you can see the other normal is affecting it, making it look like a wet surface instead of puddles. Now go back to the material editor, do the same for normal map. Now working great. That's it for today's video I hope you learned from it do let me know if I missed something or you can also suggest what you want to see in the next video. Make sure to subscribe and like the video and also share it with everyone. I'll see you all in my next video.